name is Melissa van Dijk and I'm a makeup artist and in today's video I want to share my experience which I had with the MAC Cosmetic Powder Foundation. Now I'm in the shade NC20 and this is what the shade looks like and when it comes to picking the shade then at first I just wanted to recommend you that you are trying it out at first in the store and see how it goes before you are going to buy the product. Now the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm sharing some tips and tricks in this review as well on how you can get the best finish. Now I have a combination skin a little bit more towards the drier side but my t-zone can get oily and this is also why I'm going to share my thoughts on the foundation and if you have a drier skin type then I wouldn't recommend using this as your main foundation product as the base because it just will enhance your dry patches. So from combination skin like let's say normal to combination skin to very oily this foundation is suitable for everyone and it just depends on what tools you're using to apply the foundation and also how you're going to prep your skin before you're applying the MAC powder foundation. So when it comes to the shade in general, I would recommend testing it out before you're buying it as it might change the color just a tiny bit because it comes in connection with your oils. So it's like also oil controlling because it's a powder, but I just would recommend testing it out at first in a store, just ask someone if they can apply it or finding the right shade, then go around for like a few hours to see how the oil production goes, if it changes the color and that you're also seeing the true tone in natural lighting, which is really important if you want to pick the right shade. And in today's video, I also wanted to share how I personally love to combine the MAC Cosmetic Powder Foundation with my makeup routine. So when it comes to how it performs, first we just want to make sure that there's no hair that's annoying in the face. And I have already applied some moisturizer. Of course, your skincare routine is very important before you're applying any makeup because this will also like play a big role on how the foundation looks on your skin. So make sure that the foundation and your moisturizer are liking each other. So the moisturizer that I've used was the Vileda Skin Food Light and then I just, which is the first step to prep your skin. Then for me personally, because I have breakouts and also a bit of discoloration under my eyes, I like to go in first with the CC cream and then I'm also going to use some concealer on top before I'm using the powder foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the CC cream and I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. So I'm going to take it right here and I'm going to apply it evenly over my face. The reason why I like to do it is because I have a combination skin which means that I want to have a, something that's moisturizing and also gives me a bit more coverage because of my breakouts before I'm going to use the powder foundation. As the powder foundation will work beautifully if you have like some discolorations but if, you, if it comes to breakouts that are a bit rougher and also very very red then it's not giving you enough coverage. So as you would also do with the normal foundation you're just going to use a bit more coverage before you're going into the main powder foundation and it also just will work the best with my combination skin. Of course, if you have a very, very oily skin, then you don't have to use any CC cream underneath. What you can do is if you have some breakouts like this or this coloration right here, you can color correct or you can just use concealer, which I just will do next. And I just want to make sure that at the end of the video that I will have a beautiful finish on how like so that you can see that the product itself performs very well as well and that this will give me the main coverage. So I'm just going to prepare my skin as I normally would before I'm going to use the product just so that if you have a combination skin as well that it will work for you as well. If you have more like an oily skin then of course you can also use concealer under your eyes to brighten it up or also on top of your eyes just to make sure that you're like having an even base going on everywhere and then you directly can go into the powder foundation because this is the main reason why you would pick the powder foundation of MAC. Now the reason why I personally like to use concealer underneath and also on top of my eyes is because I have some redness and also discoloration going on. If this is not the case for you then you just can skip this step as well. It just depends on how your skin looks in general and also what's the condition about your skin. 
because otherwise it just won't even it out enough. It will give you a fair amount of coverage, I would say medium coverage, but sometimes you just need to go in with a bit of concealer, which is not like a heavy like layer. It's just that it gets rid of any strong uneven like parts and also points on your face. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to spot conceal right here and right here. I'm just using my finger to even it out. And you will see later on why and also how the finish will be when I'm doing this step. Now make sure if you're going to use this step that you're going to use any liquidish products before you're going to use the powder foundation and then any powder products on top of it. Now we can go into the MAC cosmetic powder foundation. Now you either can use a big fluffy brush and you're just going to press it on top which will give you a very sheer coverage or you can use a kabuki brush which will give you a medium coverage or if you want to have an extreme and strong coverage and also very like if you have a very uh, very oily skin then you can also go in with a damp makeup sponge so it depends on what your skin type is depends on what coverage you want to reach so i'm going in with the kabuki brush because i wanted to have a medium coverage so i'm going to swirl it around and i'm going to use it in circular motions And as I said, you are deciding on how much coverage you want to reach. So for me personally, I always would recommend if you have breakouts and uneven like discolorations going on as I do, then I definitely would recommend using a base underneath. I'm not talking about a full foundation, I'm talking about something lightweight, just that it will help you for when it comes to the coverage so that you will need a little bit of each product. So you're not going to layer it on top, you're not going to smash it on top as it would be the only product that you're using. Now we are going to balance it out. And this is how I also like to use it, just on a daily basis. So the reason why I wanted to share with you how I'm going to use the product is because if you have like some discoloration going on or some imperfections, then I just wanted to tell you that the foundation, like the powder foundation itself, won't give you enough coverage. So if you have a beautiful skin, nearly no blemishes or no color discoloration, like a little bit is fine, but not too much because otherwise it won't cover it up. So if you have like a flawless skin, this would be the perfect product and you can also use it on its own. And also don't forget your neckline as well. One thing I noticed, which is also a big difference between a setting powder and a foundation powder, is that it's still a bit creamy, even though it's a powder foundation, it's similar to a liquid foundation. It's a bit more creamy, which means that you still need to set it. And I'm not going to set it with any powder, like translucent powder, so I'm going to set it with some setting spray. The reason why I would recommend you using a setting spray after you have applied the MAC powder foundation is because the powder and the setting spray just will melt beautifully into each other and it will look like skin. So if you feel like, well, mm, that's a bit strange, it's a bit too powdery, just go ahead, use some setting spray on top and you will see that if you're going to let it air dry, that it melts beautifully together. So this is what I'm going to do next, just to show you on what the end result will look like. So I'm just going in with a bit of setting spray. And I'm just going to let it air dry. And once it's dry, I'm just wanted to give you a beautiful close up on what it looks like. So I just zoomed you guys in so that you're able to see what the finish is. And now the setting spray has dried as well. And I just feel like that it's melting beautifully together. So this like powder foundation definitely also works if you're going to use some setting spray on top and it won't like leave any strange dots on it. It just will melt beautifully and it will also last all day long. 
So I've been wearing this now on my own, like as it is on my own, and also with a bit of makeup on top, like eyeshadow and lips. What I've also done is that I use my normal liquid foundation and I just went into with the big powder brush and I just pressed it on top, like similar to a setting, but I just wanted to add a bit more coverage and it worked beautifully as well. Now the MAC powder foundation for me personally is something that I always like to reach to because it also gives me like a very satin like finish it's not too powdery as it is not like a drying powder it still has some creaminess to it which I do really enjoy and as I said if you have like an oily skin type make sure that you're using also the right moisturizer underneath and then use the powder foundation on top and you always can just hide any imperfection with a bit of concealer or with uh, some color correcting concealer and it will work beautifully on its own as well and you can also combine it with your foundation but I definitely just would stay away if you have a drier skin type as it is a powder foundation and normally it just will show off the drier patches even more and that's not what we want so I definitely would recommend this product especially from normal to very oily skin with my combination skin it works beautifully and I just can't think of any negative other than it just won't hide any major breakouts when it comes to the redness but all in all I just like to use it I just use a bit of concealer that's it I'm done and this is basically the routine how I also like to use the powder foundation so I hope that I could also give you an idea on how you can use the product and also how you should use it for your different skin types and also when you should stay away from it. Make sure that you're testing it in natural lighting before you're getting it and that's basically it and that's also where you need to be careful. Now thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!